Hi, Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes here. Today, I'm going to be rotisserieing a turkey breast in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. So whether it's Thanksgiving or anytime, you just want to rotisserie a turkey breast in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Or your Power Air Fryer Oven, whether it be 6 quart or 8 quart, this is how it's done. So let's get started. Okay, so for the initial part of this cook, and there will be more later but for this initial part we've just got our turkey breast roast this is a three pound turkey breast roast by butterball and i've got some uh, poultry seasoning i've also got some extra virgin olive oil there so what i'm going to do to start is just to get the turkey breast roast open all right i'm going to just discard the uh, gravy packet here. I won't be using that. i using my own thing here. The turkey breast roast, and you can see it has its own uh, bag that it's uh, inside of the plastic bag. This is the, the cooking bag. You want to keep this cooking bag on. This cooking bag is most definitely one of your best friends in this cook because it holds things together. And it, the string that this turkey bag has around it is heat resistant so this string won't get burnt up or anything when you cook it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put the rotisserie spits on now to get those out the way. Alright so I got my turkey breast here. I poured some of that excess uh, fluid that was in the pan out. And now I'm just going to pour some oil over my turkey breast roots and get my roast nice and spun around here and take my brush make sure I brush some of that oil in some Just spin it around and I'm just brushing and spinning and that excess oil as I spin it around it's kind of getting some of that excess oil on it. Just brush it all over. And now that I've got it all brushed I'm going to take my poultry seasoning and shake it all around. Just get a nice coating of the nice poultry season. So I like mine nicely seasoned. Put some down on the bottom there because some is kind of spreading, sprinkling off as I rub it through that oil so now I got some seasoning for certain on the bottom all right now I've got my turkey all seasoned up oiled and seasoned up gonna open the power air fryer oven a leak here I'm gonna get this crisper tray out of the way now I'm going to take the Rotisserie bars, get them in the power air fryer of the Elite. Alright, we got our turkey in there. Gonna be cooking at 325 for this cook. I'm gonna let this run for an hour for a full hour and then we're going to come back and check the temp and we'll continue with some other steps then with some other ingredients. Alright one thing I forgot to do was hit the rotisserie button to make sure the thing is spinning so didn't lose but maybe a minute on that but now it's spinning so we'll let it make sure it make sure it's spinning for 60 minutes there or 59 minutes now 
and I'll bring you right back when uh, the 60 minutes is up. All right, so that hour is up. I'm gonna open up. I've got my meat thermometer here. I'm going to check the temperature of that turkey breast roast. Stick it right in there good. A good spot. And the temperature I'm reading right now is about 110, 118. It's rising, rising, rising. 137, 141. Still running up. 148, 150, 151. Wow. One hour. And it's flying. Looks like we're stopping in the 150 range. 156. Yeah, we're kind of halting in the 150 range here. It's starting to slow down. My thermometer is telling me to get ready. It's almost done. It's at 158. I'm thinking that we're good to say that it's uh, topping out at 158. So, going to go ahead for now and go into my next step in this plan. My next step is to baste it in some butter. It's at 159 now. Wow. It's rolling. I'm going to baste it in butter. So what I have here is some melted butter. So I'm going to brush some on with my freshly cleaned brush. Baste butter on the side here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close up. I'm just going to start the rotisserie. I'm not really doing it for 12 more minutes. I just set a time to get this thing to spin around a little bit. I want it to spin around so I can get that other side and start uh, brushing on some butter on the opposite side. It's okay, got that opposite side now. Brush some butter over on this side. I wish they would have made this with kind of a base function where you could just baste, like have the rotisserie spin while you baste something, but it not actually be producing any heat. So just going to let it spin a little bit more and going to baste it a little bit more with some more butter. Basically the target was to get the temperature over 140 degrees. Once over 140 degrees you want to baste with your butter. So I'm well over 140 so I'm just basting with my butter. Just get it nice and uh, covered there. So. Um, I think I've got it all around, so I'm just going to take another look at it while it's spinning. Watch it go around. I think I got it good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got butter all around it. So basically, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to let it go uh, back to that 325 for about let's say 20 minutes I want to make sure it's nice and done and start it up it may you know finish faster than that but uh, maybe I'll just take it down to 15 minutes I don't think it's going to need 20 I'll give it 15 minutes at that 325 still rolling I'll bring it back in 15 minutes we'll see if it's all good and done all right we're eight minutes uh, left into that 15 minutes so uh, about seven minutes have passed and I noticed that I didn't hit that rotisserie button again when I started the last 15 minutes so I do have a side of my turkey breast that is a little more brown than the other parts although it's all you know got some brown tint to it but just a another reminder always make sure that you hit that rotisserie button when you're hitting the, when you're doing the rotisserie to keep things spinning but I'll bring you back in just eight minutes. All right, so I thought I had the camera on, but I did not when I just opened it up and tested temperature, but it's done. I'm just gonna do it again for you here, where I just, uh, let me start my thermometer up. Make sure it's working, there it is, now it's on and the temperature as you can see is moving up as it should and we're up over 165 so we know that the turkey breast roast is fully cooked now i'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on and get it out of there 
All right, gonna get it on out there now. All right, a nice three pound turkey breast roast. You can see, uh, well, let me try and turn it around so you can see. You can see that side there. You can see the slightly more brown side where I uh, neglected to start the rotisserie, but overall it looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to take these shears and try and get that bag off. Okay, so my uh, string, string with the uh, meat is kind of fused into one another. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right open in the middle here for you. Just cut right through the string and the meat together. What you see inside that baby. This looks good. Let me give you a close up of that. That looks good. Cooked all the way through. Alright, so now I got a plate. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it plated. Then get a fork here also. here and just slice right down. Now I would not recommend eating the string. You do have to, uh, even though I still have string on it, you don't want to eat that string that was on the roast. So for that, we'll just have to try and peel off some of the string and some skin, some of that coating may come off with it unfortunately, but that's the bricks. Alright, I'm just going to just cut a slice for taste testing here. Slice in here, slice off the end here. i take some of that exterior meat. So I'll use those two for taste testing. So I'm going to get the camera adjusted and then it's taste testing time here. Okay, so here's our roast turkey breast, rotisserie on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. I'm gonna try the interior meat first. It's so moist. I mean, really, it's very moist. Now I'm gonna try the exterior meat. Moist and juiciness is all I can say for that, though. turkey breast roast that's all I can say very good gonna get ready and enjoy some more myself so if you like uh, you know turkey breast roast this is how you do it in the rotisserie of the power air fryer oven elite you can check out this many other recipes for doing turkeys other types of ways turkey you know whole turkeys in the new wave oven doing you know turkey legs and turkey wings in the power air fryer oven all types of different turkey recipes all right, superwaveovenrecipes.com. Again, that's superwaveovenrecipes.com. I'm also on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends so they also know how to do this themselves too. Also, leave your comments, please. Tell me about your experiences. Tell me about, you know, things that you've done. And if you tried the recipe, if you plan to try the recipe, you know, it's all good. And definitely subscribe to the channel and good eating.